I'm John Masters, uh, a rather obnoxious loudmouth, um, and uh, I work for Red Hat, and I'm here to help you, no, I'm here to uh, talk to you all about the Fedora ARM project. Um, so um, I think some of you have heard of Red Hat, um, that we, we do Linux too. Um, for a little while now, we've had a project to port um, Fedora to the ARM architecture. So let's run through this very quickly because I know we're a little short on time today. So what is the Fedora ARM project? Well, um, Fedora has different categories of computer architecture. We have what we call primary architecture, which sadly these days is, uh, that means x86. Um, but uh, we want to change that. So we have a project to uh, bring ARM up to the, the same level, no longer a secondary architecture, but what we would call a primary architecture on a par with x86. That is our longer term ambition. Um, and work is proceeding towards that goal. So we have uh, just today announced uh, the Fedora 17 release on x86. We have a Fedora 17 uh, beta that is out there for ARM. And a Fedora 17 release for ARM architecture will be forthcoming very shortly. Well, Chris. <laughs> So um, we currently have about 95% of our packages. You know, so you guys might be used to dpackage. We also use RPM. It's a very similar kind of process for packaging up software. Um, we have about 95, 96% of packages built now, um, which is a, the vast majority of the, uh, the package archive is built. We target both uh, ARM v5 uh, and ARM v7. We don't do what is called multi-arch in Debian um, and Ubuntu. Uh, we instead treat the two architectures entirely separately. Longer term, we have an ambition, I think, to have V5 kind of slowly phase out. Um, V7, V8 will replace it over time. Um, as two different versions of the same uh, distribution. So um, the project itself is a uh, it's a, it's a community effort led by folks like myself, but also by folks like Chris Tyler, who's sitting here. Chris, wave everybody. Chris is at uh, Seneca College uh, in Toronto. Um, and these guys have the foresight to uh, start the Fedora Arm project in its current incarnation before those of us in Red Hat got involved. Um, and now we're collaborating together on the project, and I think quite successfully. So long may that continue. Um, yeah, and so um, you can come talk to us uh, all about Fedora, um, and you can of course uh, go on to uh, Freenode IRC uh, to uh, pound Fedora arm, Fedora dash arm, talk to us there. You can go to the URL at the top of the page, or just Google for Fedora arm. Um, you can download pre-created images for most of the boards that you guys have. So it's really easy. Download the image, DD it onto a card. That is all you have to do. If you want a $10 card and you, that's the only thing blocking you, ping me and we'll see if we can get you a $10 SD card or something, right? But it's very, very easy to install Fedora on your ARM device without any risk at all. So please do try that out. Lenaro and Fedora, so here's the good stuff. Here's where I say all the good things about Lenaro and how great it is. Uh, so Lenaro is awesome. Um, Lenaro is uh, really, really helping to advance the state of um, ARM Linux in general. Um, and we have found that it has been very, very helpful uh, in tracking down bugs and in providing a forum uh, where we can all collaborate together uh, to, to advance the state of ARM Linux. We think we will best succeed if we all work together. So it's not Red Hat versus Canonical or whatever. Um, it's common engineering problems that we have to solve together. And Lara is a good forum to, a good vector to do that. So long with that continue. We wish to increase the collaboration there, especially in uh, new emerging technology spaces, server, enterprise, um, those sorts of areas. Um, we already support um, various of the enterprise server hardware uh, in Fedora um, today, um, and that will continue over time. Um, you'll be able to download images for uh, the emerging Calzada servers, um, the Dell servers that have been announced today, um, this kind of thing over time. Um, so, you know, it's going to be very, very interesting. Um, and finally, this point really is just here for Dave's benefit, because uh, he told me good to make my usual rant. Uh, we want to tame the zoo, as I like to call it, right? So, I love ARM, um, huge fanboy, 
but um, a little bit of taming is needed if we want to get, get into some of the um, bigger and more general purpose spaces beyond embedded and mobile. Um, so let's work together to produce standards and fix some of the problems that we've been seeing. Almost there. Have to be fast today. ARC64, so ARM V8. No surprises. Um, we do plan to support ARM V8 in Fedora um, as soon as we can. Uh, it's very exciting. Um, and Lenaro is key to ensuring that we don't repeat the mistakes of 32-bit. So um, those of us that are talking about V8 this week, I think my main point into that is um, let's make sure that we're all working together. We can't have different Linux support packs. We can't have all this stuff going on. We've seen the 32-bit. We have to be very clean. We have to work together. We have to have common Z images from day one. All of these good things if we want to succeed in that space. And there's a strong need for standardization, and I hope that Lenara can be a good forum um, for that to happen. So, where do we go from here? Well, it's been an amazing ride so far. Those of you who read Linux Weekly News uh, and have read some of the funny quotes that they like to put up that I've said, uh, will know that I've had actual nightmares about Register 12 coming to get me in the night, uh, trying to fix audit bugs. Uh, there's a more serious point there, which is um, we are starting to build uh, Linux on ARM in interesting configurations it has not been built in before. Um, if you take a Linux kernel and say make def config, you will usually get the most minimal configuration someone put together for some board, which is wonderful, but it might not be useful for distributions like Fedora that want C groups, that want various features turned on. Right? So we need to work together to try to uh, test with uh, a lot more of the general purpose distro configuration options turned on so that I don't have audit nightmares, right? But I don't want any more of those. Um, please work together with us. Please do download Fedora. Please do try it out. Please do come and harass me. Uh, I'm fairly personable, fairly approachable when I've had coffee. Um, and uh, please do join us on IRC and please do test in these enterprise configurations. Um, also talk to Chris, he loves people too, so you know, let's, uh, let's do that. All right, that's the end of my, my slides. Yeah, I was very fast there, Dave. Uh, if anyone has any very quick question, I'll take one question. Anyone has a question? Did you do your run this morning? I did do my run this morning okay. with my arm-powered Fitbit device. Okay, excellent. All right, so thanks very much, John. Thank you.